Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel, whatever the case is, hey. I'm so happy to be chatting with you guys again and I just wanted to come on here and share my experience over the past 30 days. So you guys know that um, 30 days ago, I started a challenge for myself to help myself embrace my own masculine energy and really get things done in my own way. And that was very eye-opening in ways that I did not really expect. So I did private all of those videos related to the challenge and I will upload most of them again um, and just change the title of them because I I felt like me recording every day was just not really it wasn't really helping my situation it was adding unnecessary pressure to just film things for the day. And it was taking up a little more mental energy than I would have liked it to. So that's why I, I kind of stopped recording and then you guys know I'm a perfectionist. So the fact that I wasn't able to actually record something every day just really got under my skin <laughs> and I just decided, you know, to stop. And then I started being hard on myself, like you said you would do this, blah, blah, blah. But the whole point of this challenge was not to record a vlog every day. It was to embrace healing and rewarding doings, hard work, um, whatever that means for me. So, the challenge was very eye-opening for me. So, I did accomplish some amazing things. Um, most things that I set out to do, I did, I was able to accomplish on some level, which is very cool. So one of the goals was to decorate my living room and as you guys can see I have like a little bit up right now but um, I have some more decor that I will hang and you'll see throughout my other videos so that's exciting and then um, I made a goal every day to drink a gallon of water and I've been doing very good at that I'm not gonna say I did that every day <laughs> but definitely have been drinking a lot more water than I used to so that's a win another goal of mine was to draw in more tarot clients so I've had this opportunity to do so and I am now at a place where I go in once a week and I have the opportunity to read tarot to the clients of this metaphysical shop. So that journey has been amazing. Actually, let me tell you guys about that because I did private the video where I talked about that and it was so interesting. It really just strengthened my confidence and my gift and those of you who know me in person <laughs> you know that I tend to second guess myself a lot and that was just huge confirmation for me that I am meant to go this route when it comes to spirituality and tarot and things like that so that has been an interesting journey because 
I'm meeting people who are further along in their spiritual journey. And I don't want that to come off as a like, oh, these people are higher than me on my spiritual journey because we're different people. There is no up here and down there. We're just on different journeys. But I was able to learn how to really ground myself a bit more and I I had a reason at first <laughs> you guys have seen me go through this pattern before too at first I started to reground myself again just so I could be a clearer channel for terror terror readings and then I caught myself you know grounding myself for situations or people that were outside of myself it wasn't just to connect with you know my inner self and I realized at that time how that was really hmm not really leading me to a place of alignment within myself. I was still doing thing A to get to thing B. And that's where I've caught myself recently. That's my current situation. I'm unlearning, you know, doing self care and things out of love just to get a certain result other than to get to know myself and really hear myself on a deeper level, to really hear the thoughts, to really see whatever mental images come up, really just tapping back into myself. And I didn't realize how ungrounded I'd been until I walked into that shop um, the shop where I am reading tarot at now. It was so interesting. And at one point, <laughs> I, first of all, a lot has been coming up. A lot has been coming up. Um, a lot of things from the past, a lot of old thinking patterns, a lot of old people even have been coming and resurfacing into my life. Um, I've been able to just really see them for what they are from this place of being more grounded and staying within my own body, within my own energy. And I'll be honest with you guys, a lot of unworthiness has come up, absolutely. Um, I can feel myself starting to tear up now. <laughs> But yeah, a lot of unworthiness started to come up. And for such a long time, I was like, okay, like, you know, I'm not doing certain things. I'm not interacting with certain people or environments. I'm taking pretty decent care of myself, you know? I, I don't know why I still feel unworthy or there's this sense of, even if it wasn't unworthiness, these feelings of shame and guilt were just really coming up. And these negative ways of speaking to myself, that internal bully was really rising up to be seen. And at first I kept trying to run away from all of those emotions and the things that I was hearing within myself. And then at one point I decided I was just tired of fighting and I just let myself see what was going on within myself and just feel the shame and feel the guilt 
and just feel even the emotions that I can't label with words that just didn't feel expansive in my body. The things that made me feel like I wanted to close myself off and hide myself away and build walls around myself is what has been resurfacing this week. And especially with meeting people who are, you know, mentoring me in certain ways. I just felt the feeling of wrongness, just that I was doing something wrong just by being and existing, not even doing anything bad, just me myself was wrong to exist in many spaces that I was in besides in the comfort of my home alone where other people couldn't see me or judge me or whatever the case is. So that has been coming up a lot lately and I did this meditation yesterday where I was able to really just quiet myself and really go into those, just this, my subconscious, where all of those feelings were residing. And a lot of those feelings were wrapping my inner child, my heart chakra, this area of pure peace, pure love, innocence. All of those feelings of shame and guilt and just being wrong by existing was really weighing down my heart and my inner child. And it was really stopping me from expressing myself in a genuine way. And I still have some messes to clean up <laughs> because of situations that I put myself in when I still wasn't seeing how I was moving out of fear and lack and not from this space of freedom and just really embracing whatever my inner child wants to do. That has been coming up since the beginning of this month. <laughs> it is on my calendar. Um, it says something about the way to touch the sky is through the heart. And for me, that means the way to really reach my goals is by letting my heart, by letting my inner child lead the way. And I found it so difficult to do that. I thought I was doing it and then I realized I wasn't several times. And it wasn't until yesterday after I did this meditation that I truly reconnected with my own inner child and you know just having her walk through life with me and when your inner child is walking through you you don't put yourself in situations to where you feel that you're not completely safe or you're shutting you're telling the inner child like just be quiet we need to do this thing just shut up and get out of the way <laughs> And that's what I was doing and I just felt like she was screaming out to me like hey like there's another way for us to be happy and to be fulfilled pay attention to me and I am still a little nervous about how I'm going to achieve certain things and you guys know I've been saying that for the past few months if not since like last year, right? It's this um, struggle with trusting that my eyes cannot see everything that is happening for me, right? 
there are things that we cannot see that God is doing behind the scenes um, that we can't see. And just having faith in that has been difficult for me because I shut down my inner child for so long. You know, she was very good at believing in miracles and believing that things would work out, believing in magic and just having fun and not, you know, waiting for something to happen. <clears throat> Excuse me. But enjoying life and then just letting things come to me and flow to me. So she's showing me how to do that and I'm showing her that it's okay to trust in adults, me as the the adult in this situation, in this relationship. Um, and then I started to realize how much I didn't see myself as a capable adult. I didn't see myself as just able to get things done and able to show up confidently in new spaces because I had that feeling of, oh, you know, I don't belong here, or, oh, I'm doing something wrong, or they're going to think I'm doing something wrong or bad, or that I am bad for some reason. And that is all just from, you know, things being planted in me as a child, and together we are releasing that now. But it's been a journey, <laughs> for sure. Um, I've had to take a lot of time alone as well because I don't know how to explain this energy that I've been feeling, but I do feel like I've been in between two worlds. And the world that I'm very familiar with has been extremely intense. And I think a few years ago, when this world was extremely relevant, and that was the world that I was living in, I was not able to really feel the emotions of, you know, being in those situations. And now, since I'm able to feel so deeply, I do feel like that's why they're coming up so strongly. These situations are coming up so strongly. Because now they're, they're able to be felt and it has not been easy. It has been a journey. I just realized how I've been shedding, shutting myself off from the world around me. I have been building this prison of isolation around myself. I've been not allowing myself to be received and not allowing other people to, you know, be in my presence and just be received as well. I've been judgmental. I've been harsh. I've been unloving at times. And it's because I have such a big heart. I was so afraid of opening it up again and getting hurt again. I also realized that I'm very comfortable with the feeling of being let down. And I did notice that early on in this 30-day um, journey that I was so comfortable with just building up this magic that was possible in my mind, building up this excitement for a certain thing, whether it's within myself or an experience outside of myself. I would get so comfortable with that feeling. And then in the back of my mind, I just realized this recently, I was so comfortable with like that falling through and saying like, oh, I knew that would happen. I knew this person would let me down. 
I knew I wouldn't be able to do this thing. I, I wouldn't be able to finish that. Oh, I knew I wouldn't be able to have my needs met. All so I could prove to myself that I was right <laughs> about these situations. This is all subconscious, and now it's coming out into the light, but this was all happening for years subconsciously. And now that I'm able to see it, I have mixed feelings because now I, I have to take responsibility, you know, for my actions at this point now, now that I'm aware. But I'm also very happy because now that I notice the things that, you know, were subconsciously happening, things will naturally shift because they always do. Once you make yourself aware of something, things will just naturally shift. And I'm really excited because I feel this this bubbly, childlike energy just resurfacing. And I am a little scared because a lot of my wounds come from, you know, me as a child, how I perceived the world, how I perceived the actions of the people that were responsible for me. Um, I did feel like I was let down as a kid a lot by people that I loved. Um, some people in, in particular. And I did feel like I wasn't seen and heard as a child or, you know, that I was embarrassing to people around me or the main vibe that I get is, hmm, what do I want to say? When I was a child, I remember most of my praise from adults around me coming from my beauty my looks, me being a good little girl, you know, and this is typical for a lot of women. Um, that's where a lot of my worth came from. That's where a lot of, you know, how I felt that I could earn love came from. That and, you know, getting good grades in school, which is why I was so hard on myself about not being in like a financial position that I feel like I should be in because this is like the adult school right <laughs> like the job that you have is like the equivalent to how well you're doing at school and you know I'm up in the air right now so I don't feel like my, my family is proud of me I don't um, I don't feel understood by them still and it's not that, you know, I don't think they don't love me or something like that. I just think I'm a very emotional being and I did want love in different ways. I wanted to be loved a little bit louder and not just for me being pretty or me being, you know, getting good grades in school. What I really wanted was for the people around me to just embrace my personality. That's all I really wanted. I just wanted to be watered and nurtured. And I don't feel, I, I didn't feel that a lot. And so I'm learning to show myself, you know, to embrace my own personality to embrace and water and nurture my own self so I'm very excited and I don't know what's gonna happen next month next week tomorrow <laughs> oh also you guys my birthday is on Monday so I'm excited about that but I don't know what the future holds still um, I'm still not where I would like to be financially, but you know, I'm excited just to 
actually reconnect with myself. It feels good now. It doesn't feel like it's work to sit down and meditate or just listen to my mind, see my thoughts. It doesn't feel like work now. Before it did because I was doing it to gain something or to get something, you know? So yeah, that is where I'm at right now. And uh, I don't know, I'm just very emotional this week. I'm ready to let go of this old way of being. It's been holding me back for way too long. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Bye.